Hello guys, this is Chitrang Dixit and today we will see how to make your own Linux operating system without doing any coding or compiling the existing source code. So let's get started. Let's open up your Google Chrome browser and just type in suestudio.com over here. I'm signing in. You can sign in with your existing accounts. So I'm signing with Google. and I'm done so at the home screen I have not made any appliances yet so I'm get to choose this template so I'm making a new appliance first of all I would choose the base template for it so I can choose just a, a minimalistic operating system or a server or gnome desk desktop or KDE desktop so I'm choosing the gnome desk top now at the downside I can select my architecture of the OS whether 32 bit or 64 bit so I'm choosing 32 bit and I'm naming my operating system as Chitran Gnome OS now I can create my new plans creating my new plans Now, after my creating my new appliance, I get to choose my appliance name again, so I can edit from here also. Now, at the second tab, I can choose the software which I'm going to add up in my new OS, new custom Linux OS. So, I'm choosing some games. taking a bit long because internet connection is not working well so I'm, I've chosen GNOME games K Sudoku and Extreme Tux Trader Racer now I can go back to groups I can choose from development GCC Python GCC PHP and I can go back to my groups similarly you can choose from any of the sections as per your preference now the third tab named configuration you can choose your specific configuration of your operating system or appliance so the login name would be root and the password would be Linux you can add up new users over here you can enable disable firewall over here you can set up your time zone language and keyboard layout you can personalize your Linux desktop so I'm choosing my green color my favorite one and 
you can choose a startup as a graphical login or normal console or multi-user control so I'm choosing as graphical login you can create your your own end user license agreement hmm. at the bottom so I'm not creating it it would take much time and if you are set uh, you want to set up any database server you can also set up your database server now at your desktop you can choose automatic desktop user login auto start desktop programs and so on you can provide memory or disk space to your appliance as needed and you can run your scripts as well so I'm just choosing the preload ISO over here at the build section and I'm building my new operating system I just need to click this button name build and BAM it's starting the build process and it has initialized the process now as you have seen it has run the build and it has made one ISO so you can download this ISO this is pretty large 2.4 GB you can also test drive it so you can test drive it over here and it's not working it all right so this is the test drive so you can see how your OS looks what applications are included in it and so on or oh, it might take some more time so I'm not gonna show this stuff in this video so this is all about making your custom Linux without any coding or without compiling any code from the source that's all for today if you like please hit the like button and subscribe thanks for watching